as we mentioned, it is November, and that means it's also National Healthy Skin Month. So joining us to talk about some tips for getting that healthy glow through the season is our own Dr. Seaver Soon. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, you for know, having me. Thanks for coming in because, you know, the winter months, they can be particularly tough on our skin because it is so dry. So give me just your top three tips for what we should do to get our skin through the winter season. So you're right, as um, winter sets in, there's, and the ambient humidity in the air is less. So, um, you know, the key is just moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. The best time to moisturize is obviously after you come out of the shower. Um, usually what we recommend is after you come out of the shower um, to kind of just pat your skin dry. There should still be little drops of water in your skin and then to apply either an ointment if you're really, really dry mm. or just a white emollient cream afterwards to lock in that moisture. So important. My son gets uh, his hands get so red mm -hmm. because everybody's washing their hands so much too Absolutely. so I mean that's another thing just really important uh, I've been seeing a lot about this micro needling can you talk to me a little bit about what this is and if you're on board or not on board yeah so I love microneedling. Uh, microneedling is a relatively new procedure that utilizes a device that punches like a thousand little holes in your skin. It's almost like aerating your lawn. Okay. And from the microscopic uh, fractionated injury in your tissue, your body will in initiate a healing response and in that process deposits collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, um, all of which uh, will give you this um, improved skin quality, color, it makes your skin more vibrant. Oh, it sounds awesome. How often can you do it though? Um, so the studies on microneedling suggest uh, a treatment two to six weeks uh, repeated for about four to six treatments total. All right. Excellent. So I like how you put it into the aerating your lawn because that makes sense to me. Yeah, it's a good All the analogy. fancy words you just said about the skin, I'm like, what? But I got that <laughs> part, the aerating the lawn. Um, caffeine. You know, for so long, all I've heard about is it's going to dry out your skin, it's not good for you, but there's some new study out about caffeine. What are they saying? Yeah, so the story on caffeine is very interesting. It seems that across the board, caffeine seems to be good for, you know, uh, your mental health, heart health, liver health. Specifically for skin, um, caffeine has been shown to decrease decrease the risk of rosacea oh. in uh, women. It seems that people who um, drink lots of coffee, so up to four cups a day, have about 25% reduced risk of getting, in the, uh, of getting rosacea compared to people who drink um, one cup a month. Oh, wow, anybody drinks only one cup a month? I don't even uh, understand what you're saying right now. <laughs> okay, well, so good. So more coffee, lower chance for rosacea. Exactly, yeah. Antioxidants, internal, external. What's the best for us? So, you know, Antioxidants can be taken like through foods, like you know, fruits and vegetables, and that's obviously good for you in general and also good for your skin. Um, but the issue with um, antioxidants taken internally is sometimes they actually don't reach the skin. And so there's lots of formulations of antioxidants that have been designed to be applied on the skin mm -hmm. to um, have their effects in the skin. So specifically like vitamin C, vitamin E are common antioxidants that have been shown to improve um, collagen synthesis, skin color, skin tone. I've seen a lot of those serums and they're, the bottles are dark if they have a lot of vitamin C in them. That's are those exactly. the ones that are the thumbs up you say? Yeah, absolutely. Because the problem with antioxidants is that they're, is that they're really unstable. They're unstable kind of in the bottle and once the bottle's open they can also tend to fall apart. So it's important to purchase a product where the antioxidants seem to be stabilized. All right of your skin as part of National Skin Care Month. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. I learned something today. I absolutely love it.